CPC parts catalog. We're going to take a look at uh, the parts lists and some illustrations. I'm going to open up a model. I'm going to select a division. I'm going to look for a loader. And the loader series is going to be 500. And the model is going to be a 553. Go ahead and select OK. In the table of contents that gets displayed, I'm going to look specifically for some parts and assemblies. And inside you can see folder folders. We can go ahead and expand those. And I'm going to look for the engine and attaching parts. On the right hand side you can see now that I have a list of parts and we have an associated illustration. At any time you can go ahead and minimize the table of contents. We'll go ahead and do that. And let's take a look at the information with the parts catalog. We can see the information as hotspots, part numbers, descriptions, quantities, and so on. We can select on any of the information within the catalog and you can see here if I select on this part it highlights and there's a hotspot number two. Go ahead and look at number three and we can also have the hotspot show up. So in the event that you're actually uh, holding on to that part, let's say you don't know exactly what it looks like, go ahead and pick on that and you can see that part show up in the parts list. In addition, if you've got any linked parts such as an assembly, we can go ahead and select on that hotspot and it will navigate directly to that assembly. It's going to go ahead and search for the air cleaner and we can then select the air cleaner and navigate. You can see now that that assembly opens up and the corresponding illustration. Go ahead and go back to the previous assembly. We can have that open up. we will minimize that TOC. Information that we can have uh, show, if you select on the bolt you can see now that there's a part card and the information such as price, part cost, on hand, on order, and in this case if you've got inventory it may have a bin location so this would be the corresponding bin uh, label. Uh, in the information that shows up for the parts list you could have things such as alternative parts, you could have notes, you could identify something as an assembly, and you can also identify something in this case as a kit. Uh, in addition to that uh, kit you could have the a link to a service document. So This is just a brief idea of what you can do with that parts list and see the information from that table of contents and the corresponding illustration.